everyone and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stampin' with Connie. It is Monday, April 25th, and this is That's Fancy. Welcome. Uh, if you are stopping in or joining me tonight, do say hello. Let me know that you're here and you're watching. If you are catching the replay, happy, happy whatever day, whatever time it is to you too. Uh, and I'd love to have you leave me a comment. Let me know that you stopped by and watched the video. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and I love to share crafty ideas. Some are uh, quick and easy, cute and cute and cute and fast, fast and cute. Okay, I don't know what's the what do we say anyway. Uh, and others are a little more stepped up. Monday nights we try to do something that's little bit fancy and sometimes it's just a case of playing with bits and pieces that are new or different but uh, tonight I have a fun card for you it is uh, it's a 3d because it stands up all by itself it's got it's got its own legs <laughs> uh, window card so there is uh, some of our window sheets involved and a little look through window kind of thing and I hope you like it <laughs> So, I hope you have had an awesome day. I cannot believe it is almost the end of April already. Oh my goodness, like, I don't know where the time goes. It just, it just zooms along. But uh, anyway, I hope you had a great day. I had an awesome day. My brother and sister-in-law were here for a visit today. We had a really yummy meal midday and a great visit. Unfortunately, we don't get together very often since COVID. I've, uh, <laughs> I think I've seen my sister-in-law, uh, this might have been the third time in two years. And <laughs> when I first uh, first found them, we used to get together every, every couple of weeks, it seems. It was a lot. And uh, yeah, so um, COVID has kind of changed that, unfortunately. But we did get together today. We had an awesome visit. Got caught up a little bit. <laughs> could have gapped for hours but uh anyway um it, it was wonderful so i hope you had a great day as well and um i hope you're ready to see some crafting watch some crafting join me on some crafting anyway hello donna thanks so much for joining me this evening let me just move this down here and we can get to some crafting. So this, uh, oh, hi, Lorna. Glad you could join us tonight. This is tonight's card. So there it is. It does stand up all by itself, stands on its legs, uh, on its little feet <laughs> on the bottom, <laughs> kind of, sort of, whatever you call them. Um, but it does stand up. It does not open. You know, like a typical card. I was thinking you could make this back piece um, a flip, a fold, if you wanted to have sort of a traditional uh, open and close card. And then it could kind of lean. It could almost be, you know, like an easel as well. But it will stand on its own. Uh, not in a stiff breeze or anything. But <laughs> and then you've got this little uh, window here for this little. 3D effect going on. Just a single layer at the back. It's not like some of them where we have lots of layers at the back, but uh, anyway, that is the card. So let's get started. Let me grab my supplies here or some of the supplies here. Uh, I piled everything into this one box and now everything's all over on top of each other. So what I have. So I, uh, I use the new Horizons designer series paper for that card and I'm going to use the uh, same package of paper for this next card. I'm using this piece here which to me looks like uh, you know like a cabin in the in the mountains or the hills or something along those lines. I'm not quite sure but I really like it. <laughs> and then uh, this will be the the top piece. Misty Moonlight which is going away very soon. Lovely blue. But the good thing is that uh, some of the <laughs> new in colors are also gorgeous blues. <laughs> so, uh, 
show. <gasps> oh, I forgot my book. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to fake it. Fake it till I make it here. Uh, four and a quarter by, oops, do you believe eight and a half? Yes. Four and a quarter, eight and a half. You're going to score it half an inch, one inch, one and a half inches, and two inches. And then you are going to score at, I mean, you can flip it around and do the same thing, <laughs> or you could score it at six and a half inches, seven, seven and a half inches, and eight. So those are your, all, all your score lines on there. And then you just take your bone folder that I buried. Here we go. And uh, fold these up on all of the, the score lines. And this, as you are probably guessing, is what makes, uh, makes the box for it to stand up. Okay? So that's what that is going to become as we work our way through this. But before we uh, glue those down, there's some other things that we want to do first. One of which is to attach this cardstock to the front of that. So I'm just going to bring in my tape runner here and I am going to uh, put my adhesive just around the edges because when I cut the center section out, it will give me two pieces the exact same size. So I don't necessarily want those stuck together. Uh, if they're separate, then I have two perfectly good pieces of material, one designer series paper and one cardstock, and I can use those for something else. Oh, we've got that on there. And um, if you have our trimmer, you know that you can use the ruler along the guide here to cut and you can cut you can cut really whatever size center you want uh, it's just so it shows through to the back piece and you do that just starting your blade part way down and cutting cutting whatever dimension you want or you can use <laughs> so my big idea was to use my Stamp cut in a boss machine along with do 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 I can move this out of the way. I don't really need it. <laughs> Look at these new dies. Ooh, ooh, sneak peek, sneak peek. Uh these are stylish shapes. 15 dies, circle squares, and four banners. And they will be out in the new annual catalog. Uh, which goes live next week. We're getting very close. So I was thinking, um, oh, I'm going to use this, which is what I used on this card to cut out this square. And it leaves this nice little, can you see there, this nice little stitching on uh, the frame. There's also stitching on the inside. So the piece that I cut out of here also had the stitching. Uh, and that's how these, I don't know if you can see here or not, but the this middle piece, that's what cuts. And then there's the little dots on the outside and the little dots on the inside that leave sort of a stitching kind of look to it. So I thought, well, I'm gonna use this again. I'll give everybody a sneak peek. Aren't I a nice person? Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Made sure I had my cut and boss machine handy, which I didn't have the last time we, we did this. Um, but this cardstock will not fit in the mini machine. So I am going to run and get my my big boy. Please excuse me for one moment. Gosh, just when you think you have it all organized, eh? Um, Okay, so this is going to take up a lot of <laughs> a lot of the camera space, and I apologize, and I could just cut it behind me, but um, <laughs> that would imply that my desk back there is 
cleaned off, but I have somewhere that I could actually set it and all that stuff. So, uh, yes. The best laid plans. So, anyway, you won't, uh, won't probably be able to see a whole lot of this, but uh, I am going to do this. You may have noticed I'm putting my paper in on an angle. Whenever you have flat edge dies, such as a square, it is a good idea if you can, and in the mini machine, it's not, uh, not as easy to do, but it is a good idea to have your die start into your machine on an angle. And that allows it to um, feed in bit by bit, as opposed to rolling the whole flat piece of the die in all in one fell swoop and it will keep your dies flatter. It also keeps uh, keeps your plates flatter. I didn't, I didn't learn that trick until recently. So my plates are now, as you can see, they, oh, maybe you can't see, but anyway, they are very well loved, very well used. Um, I have ordered new ones, but I just haven't pulled them out of the package yet. And I wasn't really planning to use this for tonight. So yes, they're in a package. Uh, at the back of my craft studio, so I'm using my old <laughs> plates. So, anyway, Lorna, you've got your catalog. That is so awesome. So you need a big cup of tea, and um, <laughs> and a piece of paper or some post-it tabs or something, uh, and a few hours. <laughs> a few hours with nothing to do, so you can just page through. Yes. Okay. Oh, I was going to show you. These are the, they're a little bit stuck together because of the stitching, but they do, do just come apart. So these are the two pieces. <laughs> yes. Two pieces uh, that I cut out. You can see they do have the stitching as well, but they're act exactly the same size. So I didn't want them glued together. Uh, you know, you could, you could use them both like this, you know, angled or something, or you could you know, whatever, or you could use them on two different projects, but they're both good pieces of paper. Uh, you just don't want them stuck together. So that's why I said just adhesive around the edges. Uh, okay, this piece of cardstock is uh, five and a half by four and a quarter. So this is your standard card base size, and it is the piece that goes on the back. Okay, so it's your it's your card. <laughs> and so we're going to put this patterned paper onto it. Yes, the new catalog is, uh, oh my gosh, there's so many wonderful things in there. I have, I've, I've been through it um, and I've gone back and looked at a few things several times and I've uh, flip through again and stuff. I haven't, I have not finished my list, <laughs> but I am planning an order for next Tuesday uh, <laughs> when the catalog goes live. And that's partly because I need to get some stuff that I want to show everyone during my uh, catalog kickoff nights. But uh, <laughs> anyway, it's also because I, you know, have some things that I really like and I want to get. <laughs> so uh, a window sheet. <laughs> little oh, I think you can see it shining but it's hard to see other than that because it's clear um, we sell window sheets so if you are looking for them they are in the catalog I don't know the page number right off the top of my head but they are in there uh, in the back area where they have all the, the extra sort of fancy things and I have cut this four inches by four inches so you can cut it um, this Part of the card, I believe, is four and a half. Yes, it is four and a half, and this is four and a quarter. So anything um, just shy of that is fine, but it just has to be big enough to cover your cutout and allow you to get some adhesive on it. So I am going to put some adhesive onto the window sheet, and we will get it stuck down. Am I uh, not quite out of the 
Oops. Don't look, don't look up at your monitor at the same time you're running your adhesive because you will go off the edge and stick to your paper. Okay, so this is just going to go onto here. There we go. And then we are ready now uh, to do these guys. When I did them, I don't know that you need to do them with the seal plus. The seal plus is the same as the stamp and seal, just heavier duty, if that makes sense. Um, so I did use it for this just because it's it's going to have a little more, uh, I'll say wear and tear on it because you glue it like this, but then when you send your card, it's going to be folded over to go flat into your envelope. So. Um, just a little more activity on here. So I'm going to use the Seal Plus just, just to give it that little extra. Okay. And this you can just fold. If you fold it in half, so there's one score line and I folded it on the second score line and then just lean it over it should go exactly where you want it, okay? And you can always, uh, I don't think you can stick your, your, your pokey tool in there. I don't think it will. I think it's too small, a little bit too small. Go in the end a little bit just to give it a little, but it will go this way and then you can use your foam finger just to give it a really nice solid squish. <laughs> And then same thing on this piece. Pull that on the second score line and pull it over. And use my bone folder again to give it a nice big squish. Okay, so there is our front section okay and that is just going to go right on to here in about the middle okay so to get uh to get your adhesive on here all i do is i just fold these down flat again and then it's easy to do my tape runner on here and on here just make sure you're doing it on the part that is going to end up as your as your sticky part or your uh, the part that you want stuck to your card and then um i kind of so i've made these square again so i'm just sort of squishing them so they are square and uh, centered and then i'm just going to center this over my card and get it lined up the way that i want it and set it down but then to really make it stick i'm going to uh, push the edge down and then I can use my bone folder and sometimes sometimes it folds down one way a little better than the other and this one is not going flat I don't know what I did wrong ah, why is it not it's like it's too too close together this is embarrassing <laughs> what uh I don't know what the difference is. This one goes down. Oh, well, maybe it just needs a little persuading. No, it's like it's too too close together. Did I not have it square when I stuck it down? Maybe I had it a little tilted when I stuck it down. Let's see if I can get it up. Uh -oh. Okay, so you know, just welcome to my real world crafting. <laughs> see if I can get it off of here. It's kind of taking a bit of the paper a little bit, or it's leaving sticky on there, but I think that will get covered when I put it back down. It's it's, it's not that far off. Make sure this is. So 
So now that I have this one here, maybe I will put this flat and this flat and do it this way. Let's see if this works. <laughs> maybe that's the trick. Put one down and then flatten the whole thing and then it will be flat. And it should, hopefully, yes, it does go square. So I think I just, I had it a little tilted. So there we go. Note to selfs, make sure you have your, your squares quite square or kind of hover it, stick one side down and then squish it flat as you would for um, your own loop and stick the other one down. Tips and tricks, no extra charge. <laughs> okay, then we need uh, something to decorate the front and we need a sentiment. So I have pulled out, um, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're laughing at me, right? No, you're laughing with me. I know where you were laughing with me. Yes. Okay. What was I going to do for sentiment? I thought I had a sentiment that I was going to use on this one. And now I don't know what it was or where it is. Um, Okay, so we are going to, uh, <laughs> some of the, the stuff I cut for the next part is from the Waves of Inspiration. So, um, yeah, I don't know whether any of those are exactly what I'm after. <laughs> okay, uh, yes, because I'm working on a little secret. I'm this card for uh, MSH because tomorrow's our month anniversary and I didn't make a card today. <laughs> but, oh, this would be lovely. <laughs> I need to just grab another sentiment. So, excuse me for a moment here. Um, oh my goodness. This will work. It's small, but it will work. So this is the through it together stamp set. And I think I'm gonna use forever grateful because you know what? I am forever grateful that he came into my world. It looks like I've not even used that one yet. <laughs> Okay, so let's just take a look in here. Uh, here we go, right here. I have not used this. So you get to look more tips and tricks. Again, no additional charges. Uh, <laughs> I will share with you how I mount these. And I, I, think, uh, I think you have seen this before, but you know what? <laughs> Apparently you're going to see it again. <laughs> need to do this. <laughs> well, I don't need to. I could use it without uh, without the sticker. I just find it. You now, I for many years I stamped without the stickers on it because they didn't stick to the blocks very well. Now that we have the ones that stick really nicely, I don't like to stamp without the the sticker on it because I'm scared I'm going to get stuff upside down and stuff. Okay, forever grateful. So it goes that way. And this will go on here. If you didn't see what I did, I put the the whole sticker onto the block and then I pulled the back off the stamp. And then you can see right through your clear block, you can get your sticker lined up exactly how you want it. It works beautifully. Okay. And I was Thinking. Okay, so I am just going to go ahead and stamp this on here. Oh, yes, I did. Where did oh <laughs> put it out on the table? So I'm using memento black. I will show you why in just a moment. I'm hoping this will turn out. So I'm going to stamp that right about there because I'm going to cut it out with, um, look at that, that was not, 
but not well placed, not well stamped. So it comes up to the top here because I'm going to use one of the banner dies from that set of dies that we use. Oh, that's even worse. Not a good night. <laughs> I'm pushing too hard, so I'm going to go a little bit lighter. Hmm. Little tiny letters. Okay. Uh, so, I will die cut that in a moment, but I also need something to decorate on here. And what I was planning was this. From the majestic mountains, I was going to do some trees. I thought that would kind of go with what's in there. So there is, there's two stamps we can choose from. One is two trees, and one is a single tree. And I don't know whether you have ever done this, but here, another tip: <laughs> uh, if you have, um, you know, different images, and you're not sure what you want to put where, whatever, if you I used stays on, so black stays on, and I stamped on <laughs> window shoot again. Can you see that? <laughs> so, uh, and then what that allows you to do is to put this here and go, oh, do I like that? Does that work or not? And if it does, great, then you know, you can go ahead and stamp it on paper. And if it doesn't, you can switch it out and go, huh, what about that one? Does that work? So I have one tree. Or I have two trees. I'm thinking two trees. All in favor? <laughs> I'll just go ahead and put that on a block while you let me know if you think two trees is the way to go. Okay. Uh, so, and I just keep those in my stamp case and then they're always there and they're ready and they're handy and I can use them whenever I need them. Now, got some paper out to stop this. Does it fit? Yes, it does fit. Good. <laughs> I haven't actually checked that either. And here we go. Two trees. Yay, Lorna. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah, you know what the the stamp on the acetate is the uh, it's great and it's good too uh, for sentiments and things. Or if you want to, you know, you've done some stamping and you you think you may want to add something else, but now you put your card together. It's like, oh, should I do that or not, or will it work or whatever? If you have it on acetate like that, um, or on the window sheets, you just sort of hold it onto your card and it. You know, then you really get a feel for whether it's something that you like and whether it works or not. So, we're using um, this is Memento Black, and if you have it, you know that it's the cloth ink pad as opposed to the foam ink pads that our other inks are. So, you just have to tap a little with a little bit more oh, <laughs> a little bit more like you mean it <laughs> there we go so my thought was that doing the trees in black at the front would be sort of a silhouette look <laughs> that was <laughs> in my mind that's what it would be so we'll see we'll see if it turns out to look like that and look, now I do need the little uh, cut emboss machine. So it was not completely wasted that I had it here. So, okay. Where did my be? So now I just, I think I probably need this one because I don't think, I don't think this little guy is long enough for my sentiment. No. That's not long enough, and I don't want it. It would probably fit, well, actually, it would fit in here. Do I want it that wide? So I can either have extra top and bottom, or I can have extra 
length. So this is from the, the waves. Yeah, I was going to use this one on the next card. So I think I'm going to use this one because then um, my sentiment can go across here, but it won't, it's not as thick, deep, tall. <laughs> so it won't, won't hide as much uh, of my background. So I'm going to use this narrow one and put this onto here. Uh oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> yes, I think I can. Oh, gosh, I don't know that I can. No, <laughs> it won't. I didn't do it over quite far enough. So, again, <laughs> do you guys come and watch me just, you know, for, you know, <laughs> my comedy routine. <laughs> Let's see what she messes up tonight. Let's see what she forgot to get tonight. Let's see. <laughs> Let's just go and be entertained by the, <laughs> the nut bar trying to do some crafting. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave a really big gap here. Okay. There we go. Okay, and I have not cleaned either of these stamps that have the black ink on, but we'll just put them to the side for the moment. So again, I'm just going to come in on an angle, and if you have this uh, small, uh, the mini cut and emboss machine, if you have trouble cranking things through, what you need to know is that you need to sort of stagger your plates. I think I am also going to put a little bit of washi tape on here just to hold this in place. So I've got my uh, one plate back a little bit and then I'm going to put this plate forward a little bit and then it tends to just catch on the rollers better. Okay, as I wiggle you around a little bit. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's see if I can get this all out of here. So that washi tape, you might wonder, is she going to use that again? I do, because you don't want it super sticky, uh, because, oh, it's not really. <laughs> I'll put a gem here and then you don't notice. <laughs> Do you know that little trick? If you have uh, a sentiment that you want it in the middle and you don't get it in the middle, you put one gem on it. <laughs> and then it, um, you know, it sort of centers everything better. Or it tricks the eye into not noticing <laughs> that it's not quite centered. Another tip, holy mackerel. <laughs> See, if I didn't mess up so much, you wouldn't get all these tips and tricks. <laughs> so, so I didn't really mess up. This is what I planned. Yes, so I can share tips with everyone. That, that's it. That's what I'm doing. Yes, uh, that will be my story. I'll stick with that for a little while. Uh, <laughs> wiggle you and jiggle you a little bit again. There we go. Look at that. Okay. These things out of the way. That in there so I don't lose it. And now we can finish this off. So my thought is that I will put the trees there. And then I can put this over here. Yes, yes, I think that will work. And 
I am going to pop the trees up with dimensionals for sure. I'm just going to put one of these mini guys up near the top here. Because it's all, <laughs> just making sure it's all on the paper. There we go. And then, not sure whether, I think I'll probably pop up the sentiment as well. I'm just going to put this partway, a little bit onto the card and a little bit, but most of it onto the, the window. And I'll just use these little guys on here too since they're right here handy and this is not a large piece anyway so we'll put this over about here do you think yes that should work there we go and then um, where, where do we have it? Um, so maybe some, oh, I know what would be perfect for this. <laughs> Just so it didn't get out, of course. Again. But what we have, which I could use the, uh, ah, maybe I should use the miscellaneous ones. Where's my bucket of things that are? I don't know if I'm the only ones that are going to the tire soon. And I do not know where that is at the moment. If it's not in the drawer, who didn't put their toys away? Okay. Okay. Those too. Ooh, they're pretty. What I was thinking, oh, and I could use these. These are the waves ones. <laughs> I was thinking of this guy, one of these guys. One of these blue guys, Misty Moonlight. I don't have a lot of spark in that, but it's four guys, so maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, we will stick with the. The other one that I was, uh, I had been thinking I would use was um, the classic matte dots in the black. That would work as well. Nope, just, uh, you know, okay, so there's lots of things you could do, but we are just going to do <laughs> one of these. Move it on and oh. Like that, right about there, and I think we'll just do one. Call it a happy day. And see, now you don't, you know, you don't really notice that <laughs> that the sentiment wasn't quite in the middle. Again, it's our secret, ladies. <laughs> don't bust me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Look at that. It only took how long? <laughs> 40 minutes of mishap and mayhem. <laughs> but look, isn't, I have to say, I do like the end result. <laughs> so there's one. Uh, moving on. <laughs> yes, let's move on. And this one perhaps will be somewhat smoother since I've, uh, you know, <laughs> tested all the, all the things. Now, I already know that I cannot use that die in the middle of this piece, but I still have the big machine here, so it's all good. So this for this one, I have a pool party. And I have, as I had mentioned, I brought in the uh, Waves of the Ocean Designer Series paper and pool party ink. And there's the rest of my pool party cardstock. And I'm gonna use, look, I love this pelican. I think he's so 
so cute. They, they are different, aren't they? And they're not, they're not really hard. They use some things that we, you know, I was going to do this the other night for um, Connie's craft along. So I thought, oh, it's not that difficult. We could do this. But then I thought, I don't know whether people have window sheets or not. <laughs> and so I thought, well, well, we will do this for that's fancy. And then if you don't have window sheets, um, you can always get some if you want to make this. And by then, I will have this posted on my blog. And then you will have all the uh, instructions right there handy, just in case you need them. So the measurements or the score lines on this again, this was four and a quarter by eight and a half, scored at half, one, one and a half, and two, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, and eight. So those are the score lines. This is the uh, five and a half by four and a quarter, your standard card base kind of size. And so then this is quarter inch. So this is five and a quarter by four. Okay. Uh, this piece of card stuff, I don't, or uh, designer series paper, I don't know that I ever told you last time but it is four and a quarter by four and I think I want so so I'm gonna have my pelican pelican the water should probably be this way should it I have no idea but I think we're gonna put it this way <laughs> so get some tape runner on here Aim for the paper. Look at that. <laughs> I should have my silicone mat down. I have it right here. <laughs> and then I wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, so try that once more. Aim for the paper. Okay, so again, I just uh, put the tape around the edges and put this down onto. Here and so I need to bring in the big the big boy again because <laughs> because this cardstock is the same size as the last cardstock that wouldn't fit in the little one. <laughs> yes, but if you were cutting this out of um, just a you know a piece of card stock to use, you could cut your card stock to fit. And then this die would absolutely fit through the mini machine. So um, most of the dies do fit into the mini machine. Uh, sometimes your paper doesn't, but uh, most of the dies do. It's the embossing folders. The uh, the full size embossing folders will not fit into the mini cut and emboss machine, but they do make some that are smaller, specifically for the mini machine. So if you don't have a die cutting machine and you're looking to invest in one, um, you know, it depends what you think you want to do. I love my big boy. It's, it is bigger, it's sturdier, it's, you know, it's heavier, <laughs> takes up more space. There's pros and cons to both of them. Um, the uh, the small one is awesome if you're traveling or uh, <laughs> hopefully when I uh, start doing more in-person stuff I'm going out to people's homes to do workshops and things or traveling somewhere the little one will be handy for that but So as I say, pros and cons to both. Okay, so somewhere, yes, <laughs> somewhere there's a piece of clear window sheet on my desk. <laughs> I found it. Nobody panic. I found it. This is <laughs> this is that leftover adhesive from before. Okay, so Lorna, have you had a chance to look at the new in color? And if so, do you have a favorite? 
<laughs> and how about you, Donna? Have you uh, have you narrowed it down at all? Can you pick just one? Okay, I got do on my window sheet that I'm going to have to clean. Just grab my clock. Let's see if I can get that off of there. It's just a a microfiber towel that I I have on my desk for cleaning up messes. Oh look, <laughs> like this. I think we have it. Okay, um, the first page is turned to, you know what, I'm with you, Lorna, I, <laughs> there was, somebody had posted something on Facebook saying, when you get your new catalog, do you start at, at the, the front or the back, like, how do you look at the, the new catalog, and most people said they start at the front, and I'm thinking, okay, the first thing I do, <laughs> if I haven't seen the new in colors, is I flip right to the back and check out the in colors. Um, and then, yes, I usually do go back to the, the front and, you know, start from the front and work my way to the back. But I always open up the back first to check out because it's like, <gasps> what new colors are we playing with now? So, but, yes. So do let us know if there's one that you're leaning towards or or if you've actually picked a favorite. I have not picked a favorite. I may, you know, over the course of the next two years, I will probably have find one that I tend to use more than the others. But oh my goodness, I certainly have not picked a favorite at this point because I like a few of them. <laughs> so and and I haven't played with them, you know, in a bunch of different combinations. And I think that's sort of when my favorite will emerge more as I start, you know, oh, this this color just pairs with so many different colors in the in our, you know, full color palette. How could I not like this one the best? Or I use this one the most because it coordinates so nicely with so many others or something. But ah, uh, Tahitian Tide, but you love blues. You know what? A lot of people love blues. There's an a lot of people very happy with all the blues this year because last year we had no blues at all but we still had misty moonlight from the year before and they came out with <laughs> the two gorgeous greens evening evergreen and su succulent so you know all was forgiven or all was well <laughs> we still had a beautiful blue and they gave us beautiful greens <laughs> i was thinking today as i pulled out the misty moonlight they could not have taken away Misty Moonlight and not given us a beautiful blue or maybe two or three um, because they would have been in really big trouble from a lot of people. A lot of people that really like blue and it's, I don't know, it's kind of a, well, I don't know if there's a, a sink or a standard in card making, um, but I mean, there is in my card making, but. I really, I may need to, <laughs> may, may need to do some real, some real thing. Although, you know, maybe I can put my pelican over any of the the smudges there. <laughs> so, so this uh, is my back piece, and I just need to decide if I want it this way or this way. I don't know that it really matters, but I kind of think. I liked the look of that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put my adhesive onto here and we'll see if I can get this on correctly first try. Although we did get the other one fixed. <laughs> be nice if I could do it right on the first go this time. So I'm going to square these up a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of center this one. Yeah. And 
I do this, oh, do this, does that make sense? Hang on. <laughs> no, one has to go out. So one goes in and one comes out. I hope that's right. I'm not sure I'm giving you the best advice here. Yes, one goes in, one goes out. So this one goes down, this one should show. Okay? You know, it could go this way as well. But again, this one is inside and this one is out. And then, look, first try. And now it stands up straight, but it also goes down flat for your envelope. So there's there's a good way to do it. Um, you know, sort of fold it square, decide where you want it center-wise, stick one side down, and then fold it and let this fall where the folded flat puts it. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so Pelican, and I was thinking, just to be a little bit different and all, oh, we would stamp them with pool party. Okay. It's going to stamp them down on this is just a scrap of paper because I'm going to die cut him. That's very pool party. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. He can be a very pool party Mr. Pelican. And then I was going to use uh where is my happy birthday here we go uh do you think you can mail it and it will pop up again um it will pop up um what you um i so if people get it it would get a little flattened sitting in an envelope for a while but it's going to kind of come out like this probably um or maybe Maybe like that, maybe not quite as much. And people are going to look at this and go, what? And hopefully they would know to just squish it so that it's square. It's cardstock, so it's got some good um, structure to it that it would go back to square. So it's a good question, Lorna, and I'll be honest. I haven't, I haven't squished it flat for a week or two and then tried to... Uh, get it to go square and see that it does. But I believe that it would. So maybe I'll <laughs> maybe I'll squish it back for a while and uh, <laughs> we'll do a little test. Uh, I will report back next week. I'll so I'll squish this, <laughs> and then next week we'll pull it out and uh, see if we can get it to go square again. How's that? There we go. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, so I have my happy birthday, and um, I probably should. So I think I'm just going to do it here. I am going to use this die. This is from the Waves of Inspiration, and I am just going to put this on here and washi tape it right here so I can see. Now, this one's easier to center because there's not as much extra, but I'm just going to do. Should try and get it straight though too, shouldn't I? Centered is one thing, straight is straight is the next. There we go. We'll do that. Uh, you get lots of great comments on the Easter pop-up card. Oh, good. Raise the bar for cards. Uh oh, oh, Lord, oh. <laughs> You've created a monster. You, <laughs> you are your own monster. <laughs> but you have lots of. Uh, you got lots of beautiful cards that you make. Look, I put that down and then I twisted it. Goofball. Okay, put that down. I'm going to grab another piece of washi tape before I mess it up. Um, <laughs> and let's see, what's the next occasion you have to, do you have to send anything before Christmas? You got lots of time to gather ideas. <laughs> but yes, it does. Uh, you send a fancy card and then all of a sudden people go, oh, wow cards are getting really fancy and then they sort of look for the really fancy one the next time <laughs> but those cards would have been beautiful so i'm sure people and and you know what isn't it wonderful to hear that people are loving and appreciating the effort that you put into making them that's uh, you know that just makes it all worthwhile right if as long as people love them and appreciate that you went to the work to 
to make them for them, then then it's not work. Then it's just it's a joy to share it with them. So at least that's how I feel, and I'm sure you do too. <laughs> Dedicated to your craft there. Okay, I got the Pelican die out. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, which was maybe not a good idea because now I can't find it, but I found them. Right here. And over right there. Run this guy through. And I have five minutes to finish it. This little guy. This little guy off of here. There we go, Mr. Pelican. And I have a couple of uh, skim ones. This is light gray granite, which is the color that I usually use for my pelican. <laughs> Just because, not because I have insider information on what color <laughs> my pelican should be, but it's what color my pelican is. It just gives them a little color. I just like a little color other than just the, the stamp on them. And then this is one of the natural uh, blends, SU700, and also known as beak color. <laughs> For me, anyway. There's lots you could use, but this one that I tend to use, so it's usually the one sitting on the top because I've been using this color thin quite a bit lately. Okay, and now we are just ready to finish him off. If I put it here, he's not looking in. Okay, maybe he needs to go on this side. Then he's going to cover up the blue, but I kind of think he should be looking into the card. Okay, so then we can put this on this side. I didn't do a, a strip or anything to go under there, but I think that's okay. We may throw a gem in for that part. Okay, dimensionals all around. I could put this down lower too, but I could put him right in the middle. Okay, so before I make any decisions, there are some options. He could be right in the middle, couldn't he? <laughs> too many choices. <laughs> Uh, I think it should be on this side. Maybe I'll move him over a little bit though, and then you can see a little bit of the blue there. We'll do that. Okay, uh, dimensionals are hiding under here. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it's like, why do I have cardstock left over? So this um, standard five and a quarter by four piece, I did not adhere yet, but it just goes onto the back. And that's where you can write your sentiment. You you agree on the right side? Okay, so that's where he's warm. But then I, we'll leave a little blue. So this is just for the back. Uh, the, this was the one that uh, we started with. So this is just glued down onto the back. And then you can put your message on there and sign it and all that stuff. Forgot to adhere it, but you get the idea. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty teeny tiny head. But it works. <laughs> okay. I find it a little trickier to get the backs off of these small dimensions. And don't ask me why. I have no idea. 
maybe because I just haven't used them as often, so I'm not quite used to doing them. Okay, so maybe right about here for this time. And then we'll put this at the top on the other side. Oh no, not again. Like the first part. I think I'm going to have him fairly high because I don't want him sitting on the. No, I need to show a little bit of that. It's not going to touch the pelican's head. I maybe should have him just a little bit lower. Move this guy down. Oh wow, he really sticks to the to the window sheet. Come on, little guy. I just want to move you down a bit. And just put him a little bit lower. There. And he's not into the sentiment as much. I think that works. And for this one, I think that we will definitely use the waves rhinestones. Put that here. Oh, so many pretty colors to choose from. <laughs> of course, they're pretty. They're all blues. <laughs> okay, and I was thinking maybe we'll just throw the gem right into the little cut out part of that. I'm not sure that's quite quite what I wanted. But I think it'll be okay. And hmm. I don't know whether we want any more in there or not, but maybe we'll we'll throw some we'll throw a few little guys on down here. And a big one just because. <laughs> so we got lots of gems on here now. Ah, yes, they're all over the place. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> they're blues. I just kind of get on a roll. So there we go. So we have our two cards from tonight. And our sample. Move this up a little bit. You see all of this? Oh, goodness. So, kind of fun, kind of different. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Let me just come back here for a moment. There we go. There, I am back. <laughs> and there's your cards for this evening. They are uh, fancy, a little different, something new, but not. Uh, difficult once you work out all the, the little kinks. I'd only made one. Okay, I fess up. I've only made one. And that's why I didn't have everything quite down, I guess. But uh, I feel pretty good about it now. Now we know all the all the tricks and how to make it work. So oh I'm glad you liked it, Lorna. It uh, I have so much fun sharing these things with with everyone. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. Um, I would like, as always, to invite you to like and share the video, invite your friends to join us, and um, we will craft again. So thanks for coming, and we will see you all again really soon. Good night, everyone. <laughs>